Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today um, I got a lot of good suggestions on how to uh, improve or oh, I got ideas and there might be suggestions on how to improve the transfer rate between uh, my server and my gaming PC. The gaming PC is right now not here because the suggestion was that maybe the disk inside of this PC server wasn't fast enough so I should try and do a RAM drive here and a RAM drive on the gaming PC. I was already doing a RAM drive on the gaming PC but I am um, I couldn't I actually installed the software to do a RAM drive on the server but then I found out that I had like 16 gigabytes of RAM in here so and the file that we were transferring was like bigger than that it was like I think it was 24 gigabytes so it wouldn't even fit in the RAM so uh, yeah I have um, decided that we're gonna try this again and what we're dealing with is of course this awesome network card which is uh, currently still available on in my in my little shop www.myplayhouse.dk forward slash shop <laughs> links are in the description um, this is a 25 gigabit network card it has two ports each of them are 25 gigabit it can do 10 and 25 gigabit it can also do 1 gigabit if you put an adapter in there for copper for example so yeah um very well priced i still have a I have quite a few of them so uh, please do go and check it out it's a good network card um and while you're there <laughs> there is also ram because we need to put some more RAM in the server and this RAM that I'm now going to be testing in that server is also available up there so yeah uh, <laughs> double whammy let's get going okay server I haven't turned it on yet so it's, it's off I've powered it off on the wall so this one is a bit sad <laughs> uh, it only has one CPU down here that one and only two blocks of memory how oh, can we see that there's one here and one there and each of them are eight gigabytes so that's not a whole lot so when we're gonna upgrade it I'm gonna we're just gonna upgrade it for this video I'm gonna take it out again uh, but we have we have the possibility here of putting in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blocks of memory. I don't think I have twelve blocks of memory in that bag. I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's twelve. We'll just put all of them in then. The cover here tells us where to put the RAM in, so uh, in that order we put the RAM in so this is for one CPU and that is for two CPUs and there's a difference in which order it wants the RAM depending on one or two CPUs so let's take the two eight gigabyte blocks out I do believe I have eight gigabyte blocks for sale as well so but this is 16 gigabyte blocks so we're putting in 12 16 gigabyte blocks can you do the math hmm. and I also have to remember to put the network card in because I took it out I thought we were done with this testing but there were so many good suggestions and stuff that I could also try there we are RAM is in and here is the oh, we don't need the hard drives in front of the server for this test so we're gonna take the rate control uh, which is a HPA I said that wrong last time as well I'm gonna take that out oops now we're gonna put that awesome network card in that is way too affordable on my shop there we're gonna keep that card in where uh, that's the fast card it's a 
it's a card much like this one. It's a, a Samsung produced uh, very fast SSD uh, NVMe uh, PCI Express thingy. So we're gonna put this back in. If I get fitted. Okay, so while the server boots, let's try our luck. Oh, it's a Christmas, man. Okay, I don't gamble a lot, but every Christmas I buy a, a couple of scratchies. That's that one. So that is 50,000 Danish kranas. I will never get that lucky. And then this one pays out 5 million. Yep, it's still less than a million uh, dollars or a million euros, but yeah, it's still a lot of money. And so. uh, we have a Christmas tree. Okay. And da -da, Christmas tree. Oh, that's one of the five million ones. Da da da. I'm almost rich. Cool. Okay. So. Let's see if it sees the RAM. And it should be 144. Sorry, it should be 192 gigabytes of RAM, and it's right there. So, how did my math go this much wrong? Um, the CPU isn't the quickest either. Uh, so I, maybe I don't know if, if transferring 25 gigabit could could limit this CPU and bring it out if that could be the bottleneck just CPU that can't keep up that's another thing that could be tested so but we need a RAM drive a RAM drive I have installed the software I thought cannot find a um, disk Okay, I tried to in reinstall this, so let's see if I was uh, successful. So, uh, drive letter R, and over here I've changed the cluster size to uh, 64 kilobytes per yeah, cluster size. Big files can benefit from that. Uh, let's see. Oh, so it's already okay. I need to share it and put the file on there, so I'll do that. Okay, I'm curious, um, now I'm copying this file from the very fast Samsung drive to the RAM drive, so let's see how it does that, if it's possible to move it quickly. Oh, it's actually doing like 1.7 gigabytes per second, so that's probably about the limit that I saw on the other test as well it should be able to do almost double okay I just tried the other way off camera from the RAM drive and to the fast Samsung drive it was a little bit faster it was almost two gigabytes per second so not too shabby in the meanwhile the gaming PC has come onto the scene um, yeah sorry um, I don't use it much <laughs> so it's booting up right now so we're gonna see how uh, how fast we can copy the file I have connected the awesome network card through this 25 gigabit duct cable that we found last time was really very good okay here we have the gaming PC is up and running over here is the server where the file is on the RAM drive, that's R for RAM drive. We actually have both drives, I've shared them both. There's the, the big bad file share, and then the new one, which is the RAM drive, is just R. Someone got lazy. So, let's see how fast this copies. Yes, and copy. 
like 1.8 gigabytes per second and then it dropped a bit and now it's 1.67 ish okay but that was just windows copy that was actually better than what i saw from uh, from last time i will see if i can find that robo copy thing that we did last time and see how fast that is okay i have the robo copy command ready down here so let's hit that so we should we should see it copy over and we should get a number oh i think receive probably well, let's see Eighteen gigabyte gigabits per second. That's not actually quicker than last time. It's about the same. Mm. I'll just have another go at that. And it's nineteen point three. I was over 20 gigabits last time we did this, so mm, this RAM drive is. I'll try and. Um, oh, sorry, I am. I'm an idiot. I've been copying from the big bad files here. I am an idiot. That's not where we need to copy from. We need to copy from R. That just R. So now we're copying from another location. Yeah, and it improved quite a bit. Okay, so <sighs> I was surprised that nothing happened, and then it just turns out that I'm an idiot. Who would have thought? Let's do that again. Twenty one, twenty seven, twenty two gigabits. So. Cool. Okay, I have another thing that I want to check the CPU usage while we're copying that file over. We do also have the network card over here, so we should get some results there. I'll zoom in now that I've told you that we are on the server. And I have a keyboard and mouse is still on the gaming PC, so I should just pay, press enter. And it should copy. So where are we? I see nothing. Hmm, did I do something wrong again? Oh, maybe. Delete. I did copy it. So why didn't I see anything? Let's try that again. Oh, 22.4 gigabytes per second, 0.5. And it does use some CPU for a little bit. Do we? Oh, the mouse is on the other. But 100% is up there, so everyone, that's 10, 20, 27% ish. It's not a CPU issue. Meh. Okay, that actually wasn't a total waste of time. Uh, got like 2.7-ish gigabits per second more out of it. That is, that is probably like 250 megabytes per second more than I was getting before. So uh, I saw 22.5 gigabits per second. And that is not too bad. It's at least faster than two 10 gigabit connections. 
So uh, yeah, the network card is doing fine. It's uh, right here, I've taken it out again. So uh, I'm gonna put it back in the back because I know you're typing there. Oh yeah, my shop address, slash shop. Yeah, you got it. And it's for sale there. So um, remember, uh, shipping prices are ridiculous until the system knows where to ship it to. After that, it recalculates and uh, you get a most of the time more decent number uh, for the shipping price. Shipping out of Denmark sucks. Um, but it's not as ridiculously expensive as it shows when it doesn't know where to ship it to. Also, if you're in need of 192 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, uh, just happen to have some of that as well. So uh, check that out. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Do leave in the comments if you saw something that could improve on this so I can do even better. Other than that, have a really nice day. Bye bye.